totally disappeared. Every area has their stories and folklore, urban legends, and just about everywhere you look on Google, you can find a story about Crybaby Bridge. In this community, local legend has it that when the Amish have a baby that is unwanted, for whatever reason, they bring it to this bridge right here and dispose of it in the dead of night. Every year around Halloween, my brother and my friend Mark and I hang out for one night, just kind of run around our old stomping grounds and tell stories and have fun, you know, just goof off for the night, just to kind of break away from the norm, get away from our jobs and the daily hustle, break out and have a little bit of fun. This is one area we always come to visit. Two years ago on the way to this bridge, right up this road here, we passed a buggy trotting down the road with no driver. Now, if there was somebody in there, they were hiding. Why they were hiding? Who knows? Speculation says there was foul play at the bridge. We came down this way, turned around, went back, and the buggy was completely gone, vanished off the face of the earth. Two nights ago, we came back, and so did the ghost buggy. Now this can all be taken as a joke. We were even out here acting silly, just goofing off. I wasn't gonna film anything that night. I was just out there to have fun, let off some steam. And while we were out here, I thought, you know what? Let me just go ahead and make a video. It'll be fun, you know, it'll be something fun I can share with you guys. But then it got real. Now the other part of the legend is that if you come out to this bridge in the dead of night, shut off all your lights, shut off your car, and just stand stone silent, that you will hear a baby crying. That's not exactly what happened to us, but it did get a little crazy. I'm going to show you the footage right here, and then we're going to talk a little bit about it. All right, guys, tonight I am out in the middle of nowhere with my brother and my friend Mark. I know how well you can see back here. We are at Amish Crybaby Bridge. We came out here two years ago and we passed a ghost buggy. I shared that video the other day. You'll have to go and watch it. Um, hold on, I can't see with the light in my face. <laughs> I'm Zach, this is Mark. Mark's back in from the West Coast. Made a special appearance tonight, just so we could come on out here to Crybaby, Amish Crybaby Bridge. We're out in the middle of nowhere, man. We saw a Amish buggy cross this bridge. And two years ago. Two years ago, and that buggy didn't have a soul driving the thing. <laughs> it was just Murph. a horse and an empty <laughs> buggy for all we knew. Exactly. It was some kind of like a eerie glow coming out of the thing. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So we've come back here tonight to... Uh, check out and see if there's a drop-off. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. As gruesome as it sounds. Of... Okay. Whoa, I almost walked right into that. Oh, my oh. gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Man, they're all over. Don't stick your okay, face okay, through don't there. Put your head in there, man. Holy crap! Those huge ones. Are that is a. Cool. That would be Let's a. Look down there. All right, let me. Uh... What? There's that bike. What the? That's still there from last time. I don't remember even yeah. seeing it last time. Well, you know, last time we said it was a motorcycle. A motorcycle. However. Remember we saw that deer carcass down there. The pelt that was harboring a baby. Yeah, they wrapped the baby up. <laughs> See any babies? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> what are odds? Real high. Okay, portion of this thing doesn't work with it. Yeah. Mist in that light. Yeah, really. It's pretty creepy. It is so creepy out here pitch black middle of nowhere look let me shut let me shut off my light look at this guys pitch black here's the bridge we are literally in the middle of nowhere out here the story goes that when amish people have a baby that is less than perfect uh they basically come to this bridge and dump the baby off. Here comes a lone bottle. Which we didn't put in there. Is it beer? It's not a baby bottle. I think we're safe. <laughs> 
I don't know. You realize how fast it looks like hairspray. Honestly, look how slow that's moving. It's it's actually pretty creepy. That would have had to have been thrown in recently. <laughs> so yeah, look at this, guys. There's, I mean, we're literally in the middle of no, nowhere. Nothing out that way. Nothing out that way except for our car. And this is the bridge. Now, look, the only thing that we can see out here tonight, besides these spiders everywhere that I almost keep sticking my face in, is, uh, hold on over here. This bike. There's a bike down there. I don't know if it's the same one we saw two years ago, because I remember seeing, like, a motorcycle. And then we saw, like, an animal fur out there. But, uh, but I don't see any of that tonight. Look, you can kind of see way out there. It's really creepy out here, though. And we were looking at the graffiti on this bridge. And we're like, okay, why would this say live and let live? And then it has a heart, a peace sign, and I don't know what that is. But something having to do with the baby that was thrown overboard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I really don't know. I don't know what this says. Love one another, I thought, maybe. But then there's a little bit more graffiti over here. Where do those guys go? Oh, whew, they're up there. Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, I'm telling you, it is so creepy. Peace, love, I don't know what that sign is. Infinity. Sarah. Okay, I guess that's a coyote. Sarah is like an Amish name. Could be the woman who birthed the baby that went overboard. <laughs> Providing there was a baby. What? You hear those coyotes? Heck yeah. <laughs> Scared living crap out of me, man. Oh, and then there's some questionable graffiti here, which we'll just look at real quick and then turn away. But yeah, it is like it is totally creepy out here. And basically, like, you know, when you come out here, the story is supposed to be that you come out here to the bridge and just sit here stone silent and you should be able to hear a baby cry. So we're going to turn off the only light we have and listen for a minute oh uh, hell no let's get out of here man <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm not we, kidding. You. I swear on my life. I'm about to have a heart attack. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my god. I say we go back. We gotta that go is. is that it up here? No, no, there's no way. It was too loud. It, oh my god. How could we have heard it? That's I mean, yeah, loud. that's. Just listen, it's hard to hear it okay. now. Holy crap. Yeah, no, hold on, hold on. The one I heard was right on top that of us. That was right on top of us, guys. <laughs> we didn't hear a baby, but we heard no, a ghost no, buggy. No, no, no. <laughs> I swear, it was, and it was getting closer. Yeah. That yeah. Was not them. That was not them. Oh my god. That was not them. I swear it was not them. Oh, I mean, there's no way it was them there because was they no were way, way up here. I could. I only heard them when I got right up on them. <sighs> Ooh. Holy crap! That was that was messed oh, up. We're going, I'm going back. We gotta go back. <laughs> that was so messed up. Holy crap! We were like, I was thinking, okay, you know, maybe we've seen enough of this place. Next thing I know. <laughs> <laughs> The ghost buggy, I told you. Holy crap, wait a minute. Man, 
Okay, I just got to shiver a minute. Wait, let me get this out of my system. Hold on. Well, that was definitely oh. the children of the corn. Okay, there. all right, all right. I almost crapped my pants. <laughs> okay, man, wait a second. Wait just a freaking minute. There was nothing around us. No. Am I right? Yeah. There was nothing around nothing. us. Nothing. It's stone silence. Are you getting this on video? Oh, heck yeah. Okay, look, there was nothing around us. We shut all the lights off, and I'm standing there thinking, okay, we just did this a minute ago. Nothing happened. Next thing I know. Ugh. Clump, 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 it was right on top of us. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was yeah. right there. Okay, that's too freaking crazy. I specifically looked the other way, too, to see if something was coming. Yeah. Oh, okay, these are the turds confirming the original buggy we saw. But once again, I testify that that was it, not what the one we heard. Okay, look, I'm not kidding. Something weird's going on. Uh, so, okay. like, children of the corn, kids in their buggy at 1030 at night. <laughs> uh, one question. Why? Okay, there they are up there. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the buggy that we just did see is totally pulled off to the side up here now. Should we drive past Just it? past the bridge. <laughs> okay, I kid you not. <laughs> I've, I've, lived, I've been around Amish country my whole life. That's the sound of a buggy that's right on top of you. Right. And these guys were at least 150 yards down the road. And then more than that, it was about 250. That, that was nuts. All right. I'm gonna get out. Should I turn the lights leave them on? Um, yeah, leave the lights on, man. All right, guys, we are totally creeped out right oh, now. <laughs> you heard that. There's lights coming. All right, guys, we are totally creeped out now. We're out on the bridge again to see if these guys just made a deposit. These Amish guys that just drove by. Okay, so it was a bunch of kids in that buggy that we just passed. So, it is so creepy right now. You heard when we turned off the light the ghost buggy. Hmm. And then when we got in a car and we started driving, I mean, that, that buggy that we saw was like hell and gone out that way from where we're at right now. So there's no way it was them. Yeah, so we're going to look over here and see. I can tell you right now if there's a baby down, I'm going after it. I'm just letting you know that. I mean, I don't see any evidence. Look, that's probably one of the creepiest freaking things that's ever happened. Tell me about it, man. That was nuts. <laughs> I don't see any evidence that anything was dumped. I'm telling you guys, this has been one of the creepiest places we've ever explored. And we do this once a year, right around Halloween. They were up to no good up there, man. Why would they pull off like that? So you want to go find them? I want to go see what they what they were ditching up there. I mean, it would have taken some real balls for them to pull off. and. Well, let's do it. Right, let's go. <clears throat> I thought I heard something back there. Can we back up? Yeah. <laughs> Stay Keep going. It's clearing. About right here. Right about here is where they would have been sitting yeah. when we were standing back there on the bridge waiting to see what they were going to do.
Okay, so we have reviewed the footage to see if you could hear this on the video and you can hear it. Well, obviously you guys saw it. So you could hear the buggy right on top of us. There is absolutely no way that, um, that it was the one that we encountered way down the road. Because when we jumped in the van, my brother was booking it, man. We were out of there. That guy was like half a mile up the road. So it was totally the ghost buggy came back to haunt us again. A lot of you are probably laughing, thinking that's totally crazy, but let's break this down a little bit. It's about 11 p.m. It is pitch black out here in the middle of nowhere. You can hear nothing and see nothing all the way up this stretch of road and the same all the way down this way. We came from this way, past nobody, pulled over the bridge and pulled off the side of the road right over here across from where my car is, parked right beside this tree. It's the middle of the night, so you do hear some sounds carrying like dogs and coyotes, wind blowing through the trees, but we didn't even hear a frog or any movement in the water. It was stone silent. You can see a road in the distance with a semi and another truck over there. No, that's a minivan. But you can't hear them. We get out of the van and we head for the middle of the bridge. There is not a soul in sight. Nobody out here whatsoever. No cars, no buggies, no nothing. We stand right here and I film a corny little intro with my brother and Mark. We're just goofing around having fun. We our flashlights and we walk over here, look over the bridge into the water. We try not to get our faces in all the spider webs here. And we pretty much see what we saw a couple years ago. There's an old bike down there, a couple of tires, looks like a briefcase over here thrown in. Just a bunch of junk, no babies. We walk over to the other side here and do the same thing, just look over into the water. There's no babies. We're just having fun making stupid jokes. Then we start looking at the graffiti. Now, what do you usually see when you see graffiti? Cuss words, things of a sexual nature. Well, this one says live and let live. Heart, a peace sign, and whatever that is. Joking about how this looks like a DNA strand. And then this down here says love one another. On the other side, we see peace, love. I guess this is the sign for infinity. And then this heart with the name Sarah. This one's blurred out because it's a woman's body. It's a little sexually explicit. However, we start thinking about this graffiti for a minute and we're thinking, okay, that could be implying something of a reproductive nature. Era is an Amish name, or it could be the name of a baby. In thinking about what graffiti usually says, why would somebody be writing things like live and let live on a bridge that supposedly babies die? So I start filming from over here walk over here and I'm filming down over the water and blah blah blah. Standing right over here is where I say okay this is the story. Da 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 da. I turn around we walk out into the middle of the road dead center of the bridge where I say okay we're gonna turn out the light and see if we hear a baby crying. Now from right here you can see I can see all the way up there I can see all the way down there. In fact, there's a car coming right now, and we're going to see how long it takes to actually hear that car. I'm starting to hear it right now by my car. Now, granted, there was no horse or hooves or clip-clopping or a buggy. However, there is an engine in a car, and we still didn't hear it until it was almost on top of my car. So that brings us back to the middle of the bridge. Pitch black out. All you can see are stars up in the sky. I turn out my light right here. It is completely pitch black. Almost immediately after I said we're gonna turn out the light and listen for a baby, we hear the ghost buggy approaching. Now guys, this is funny, this is silly, but I'm 100% serious right now. I'm standing right here in the middle of this road. I turn out that light and we hear a buggy approaching from this direction right here. I'm standing right here Mark is right here, my brother is right here, and we all heard this, the buggy approaching from this direction. I turned on the light and we're all looking for this buggy. It was loud enough that we all expected to see the buggy right here about to cross the bridge. But there was nothing, nothing up that way, nothing up that way. We jump in the van, we take off, way up that way around the bend and over the tracks before we see a buggy. As we pull up to the tracks, we put the windows down to hear the buggy. 
and we didn't even hear it until it got right up to the car. So the idea that the sound of that buggy could have traveled from all the way up around that bend over the tracks to clear down here and sound like it was quiet and getting louder and approaching and right on top of us before I turned on that light is absolutely absurd. The buggy you see at the top of the hill there, I just watched that thing come from all the way down there, cross over the bridge, and go all the way up there. Sound didn't even begin until it was almost at my car over there. And it was gone, like by the time it got to that second sign up there. I mean, you could barely even hear it anymore. So the idea of the sound that we heard actually carrying from clear down there around the bend and over those railroad tracks is completely absurd. The only other option could be clear over there where you see that semi truck passing. That's the only other road, which would mean that the sound would have to come from behind us from where we were standing. And there's just no way. I can't even hear those cars that are on that road over there. Look, there's a tractor over there right now, and I cannot hear that at all, whatsoever. Now, granted, what you can hear in the distance from up around where we saw that, uh, that buggy is heavy machinery. They're up there actually cutting trees, putting trees through a big sawmill. But that is heavy machinery and a sawmill. <laughs> all three of us were here. All three of us heard it. All three of us saw the ghost buggy. And we'll be here again next year. And that is the legend of Amish Crybaby Bridge.